Well, hey everybody, welcome again to another edition of the Mountaintop Comic Review. I'm Charlie. And I'm Richard. And I'm Sawyer. And today, boy, oh boy, do we have a lot of stuff to talk about. There's been a lot of really cool things happening yes. in our comic book world. Yes, tons. Yeah. The X-Men, mm -hmm. Brand titles. New World mm -hmm. that new started. World started. The um, Echo is already echo started. Is, is that his new alias? Tales the, from the Dark Multiverse, right? Yes, That's Tales. Cool. The also the the we're, we're actually going to be talking about this as our comic book review today. The new Legion of Superheroes. Oh my, that makes me so happy. And I'm the only one that doesn't have a ring on right now. You do in your heart, Charlie. Yes, I do. I know, because yes, you're super passionate above all compared to us two. I know. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You carry the knowledge of all the 31... Futures. Uh, 31 Futures? Century. Yeah, I don't know, man. I thought you were going to go into Baskin Robbins. Uh, oh, we players. should all go afterwards. <laughs> all right, we're going to be talking about the new Legion of Superheroes, the X-Men, uh, Disney+, Plus, which yes. is going to be having the Mandalorian, a whole mm -hmm. lot of things we're going to be talking about today. The Mountaintop Comic Review starts right after this. Let me tell you, I have been, I'm going to be completely honest. Go for it, man. I got into a little oh, bit wow. of a lull yeah. there for a while. But now, I'm excited all over again. Yes, yeah. There is some stuff that's come out this last couple of weeks that has really just blown me away. Well, Christmas came early for you, right? Charlie? Yes, yes, as a matter <laughs> of fact. I think we should probably start off this show yeah. with uh, some of our news that we've picked up sure, over the, yeah, the last yeah. couple of weeks. Uh -huh. And uh, let me tell you, I, I don't have a news article per se, yeah. but I've got to say, what are you guys thinking of this new X-Men so far? I'm liking it, man. I'm liking the, I mean, the jumping on points. It's fresh, mm -hmm. and each one has felt different. Mm -hmm. So I'm on board. I've tried every number one out there, and yes. I think it's some good stuff. Yep. Hickman is doing a fantastic job. What do you think? I really, I agree with Richard. I really like how it's going so far, but I also feel like, unlike with a lot of stories, it's not all connected. They're giving you a few number ones mm -hmm. to try out, yep. and then with the second issue, you can choose. Right. You don't have to get all of them to understand what's going yes. on. Yes. I mean, they're all connected in mm -hmm. a way, but they're all separate in a way. Yes. I think we had five uh, different like that. Uh, titles that mm -hmm. came out. We had uh, the New Mutants, which I'll be talking about here in a little bit. Yeah, X-Force, yeah. mm -hmm. the X-Men title, yes, main, yeah. Marauders, mm -hmm. and Love Excalibur. Yes. What? Hey, Fallen Angels. And Fallen Angels. Yes, yes, that one hasn't come out that yet. It hasn't come out yet. Oh, yeah. wow. I forgot about that. It'd be good. Mm. It'd be good. So we can't really make a decision on that one. But so far, I need to know, out of this Hickman X-Men universe, which has been your favorite title so far? Sawyer, what, which is yours? I'm going to have to go with X-Force. Wow. So far, I just feel like it's had the strongest story, and I, I like the kind of obscure team, if you ask yeah. me. It's okay. not all mainstay members, mainstay mutants that we're used to. Right, and I'm, I'm, we're not going to give you any spoilers of no. what's uh, happening, yeah. but I, one thing I will say in X-Force, you had Black Tom Cassidy Whoa. as... Their security advisor for the Krakoa Island. That's interesting. That's that's so weird. Yeah, but then again, Apocalypse on the team yeah, on yeah, the good guys yeah, side. So yeah. I was like, what? okay. Yeah. So X Force is your pick so far, Richard. Which <sighs> one have you enjoyed the most? So tough, far? but I'll go with Marauders, and I do not like pirates. But I like this book. <laughs> I have a thing against pirates, guys. You know, with Pirates of Caribbean, I'm like, I just, no. No. Because, you know, no. But this, I, I know. What but Kitty Pride, I, oh, come on. I, it's just pirates. I <laughs> no. And I dressed as a pirate before, and I'm like, no. I, you know, I don't like pirates, but I'm dressed as a pirate. So, kind of a hypocrite, you know, I'm just want to say. Yeah. But Kitty Pride, you know, I love, it. I love Kitty Pryde. Um, it just, it's, it's a different feel. You know? Now, who was involved? Because that's, I will say, that's the only title I haven't read. Yeah. I haven't read The Marauders number one yet. Mm -hmm. who, who's on that team? We got Kitty Pride. We got Pyro, the original. We've oh, wow. got Iceman. Okay. Um, I don't know if uh, Emma Frost, I mean, I don't know. She's, she's kind of behind the scenes. Connected in some way. Yeah, she's okay. back there. And Storm. Storm's on there. Yeah, she, 
She's like, I'm with you if you need me. Um, Lockheed, not Lockjaw, the little dragon. Lockheed. Yeah. yeah. He's been with Kitty Pride for a long time now. Yeah. yeah. And I think those are the ones I can remember off the top of my head. Gotcha. Right there. But, I mean, Kitty Pride leading them, it's just something you wouldn't, you know, you're just like, oh, really? You know, mm-hmm. leading the team? Yeah. But she has the look. She sports it. Emma's yeah. like, do it. Sport the look. She led the X-Men, I think maybe Astonishing X-Men time mm-hmm. frame. She's... I remember I when remember she first came. Kitty Pride to, being in charge of the X Men. Yes, vaguely, yes. but I do remember it. Yeah, I remember when she first came on the team. I think she was like fourteen years old. Craziness. So your pick has been X Force. Yours has been Marauders. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna yeah. have to go with the New Mutants. Really? See, I'm excited favorite. about that one. I haven't, I haven't read, but for yes. for all the older readers out there, if you got the New Mutants in the original run, it's all the original characters. Except for one. Ooh. Cannonball is not a part of this team, but the first issue revolves around that. He's a center point. Gotcha. Yes, they are going to find Cannonball. Or they're not going to find him, they're going to visit him. Okay. They team up with the Star Jammers. It's like you've traveled back to the 1980s. This cool. is. I, 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 I'm loving this Hickman yeah. X Men universe and some things that have happened. In X Force number one, that is really going to shake things up. I'm super, super excited. Very so, nice. yeah. New Mutants for me, I love those characters. I love all the original New Mutants. Uh, they've even added a couple. Uh, I can't remember the one guy's name. Mondo? Uh, that, that's it. What is it? Mond- Mondo. Mondo. Yes. Mondo. Mondo. Uh, they added two new members. They uh, added Chamber, Okay. the guy who's... Missing yes. his jaw and breeze nah. fire. Yeah. yeah. That that guy and Mondo. Mondo. Which is kind of like an earth creature. He, he puts thing. his hands to the ground and then he becomes the ground. Very yeah. So cool. if he yeah. did it in here, he'd be Rainbow Tile Man. Yep. I just think that Mondo <laughs> juice from the 90s. That's all. Don't drink it. It makes you sick, guys. I'm just saying. Random side note there. Uh, hey, I, I used to drink Mondo juice. You remember Mondo? Okay. Anyways. <laughs> should we get back on track? Wow. Well. Mm. Bizarre, mm. but I'm I'm really excited <laughs> about this Hickman universe. Like me too. We said uh, I haven't read Marauders number one. A- every other title that I've read, I have no, absolutely like loved. It. Loved. Cool. Like there's none of them that I really just was like, eh, oh, that was okay. Yeah. Excalibur was great. It's different. New yeah. Mutants was great. Okay. The X Men great, and uh, 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 X Force okay. was great. Nice. I'm sure I like the Marauders too, and Fallen Angels. Uh, but I'm really excited this resurgence of the X-Men. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to be talking of resurgence of a different kind when we get to the Legion of Superheroes mm-hmm. as our comic book roundtable review a little bit later on. But that's kind of my news story for the day. I like that. Just the resurgence yeah. of the X-Men. And Forecast. It's just really, X-Men really cool. Tigers. Really cool. All right, uh, Richard, do you have any news specific? Yeah, news? I was excited. Just two short things. Ant Man three will be uh, w- there. Will be an Ant Man three. Okay. And well, I figured there would. Yeah. Well, I was scared. I thought you know they're going to stop it at two. They're nah. going to stop it at two. Nah. But, um, they believe, too much money to be made. I know, and it was good. And yep. so the director's coming on board, Peyton Reed, and, and Peyton Reed did the first two. Yep. So we're going to get that same feel, and I feel like that's going to be a good you know because I appreciate the humor behind the Ant Man movies. Oh yeah. And um, I think. It will be part of the very first, if filming goes right, of the first Phase Five. So it'll end Phase Four with Thor: Love and Thunder, mm-hmm. and then Phase Five will start. Hopefully, if filming goes you know according to plan with Ant Man Three. What do you think their next big arc will be? I don't know. They were, there's rumors of them, and I don't think this is possible. Introducing the Fantastic Four yeah. via Ant Man yeah. with the Quantum Realm and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. They said you know they might you know focus more in there. But I don't know where else they could go. You know, Secret I'm Wars, maybe? Possibly. You know, with Cassie being older, now that Endgame, could she become stature more so in the Ant-Man 3? Yeah. I don't know. Secret War? I don't know. There's so many I hope they go somewhere and introduce Kang the Conqueror. Oh, ah, that could be it. Yeah, that would be I, cool. I really want to see him. Or Galactus. Yeah, like, there's, I didn't even think about there's Galactus. There's so many good villains left in oh, the Marvel yeah, yeah, yeah. Universe. Yeah, he they could be the next phase yet. villain. Boy, that would. Be, um, can you imagine you know? that on a on a big budget? All the heroes versus Galactus. Oh, that'd, that'd be, be cool. so cool. Oh, wow. That'd be cool. Wow. I like that. And okay. the, I don't know. The other one I've got is another media friendly news. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm a big Iron Fist fan. Mm-hmm. So when I saw this, I know you're a big Shang Chi fan. Did you oh, guys hear about 
Iron Fist possibly being in the Shang Chi movie. No. Yes. Wow. So, um, but they're gonna. Danny Rand. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna cast um, Flynn. What was his name? Flynn. Not From Flynn Rider. Yeah, Flynn. I wrote Flynn Jones. They're gonna do Flynn somebody. Jones. Flynn Rider. Who was I thinking of? <laughs> Something else. Flynn Rider. Guys. Flynn, Flynn Jones. Rider? I don't know. That's Disney. Disney. Rapunzel? Flynn Rider. Gotcha. There you go. Okay. Rapunzel. Yeah, it's gonna be somebody else. Kind of like they did with War Machine and, and the Marvel. Um, yes. Marvel. You know, mm -hmm. movies. So we're going to get a new one. But I'm excited just to have, you know, Iron Fist possibly mm -hmm. in a Shang-Chi movie. Yeah. And they're kind of doing that with Marvel Netflix characters. Yes. I just hope they don't recast all of them. Right. Because some of them did a really good job, if not all of them. You know, in my opinion, they did a good job. I hope they don't. If anyone, I really hope they don't recast Daredevil. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. What's Daredevil his name is Luke Charlie, Charlie, Cox. Charlie Cox. Charlie Cox. Yeah, yeah. Charlie that's, Cox. that's perfect. They and do and not need Luke Cage was spot oh, on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and he's I, good too. I wish they would, he wouldn't have gone in and said, this is it. I wish they would have done another season, but it's okay. But right. I, I wrote down February 2021. 20, is when we're gonna get Shang Chi. So I know oh, you're excited. Man. Filming will start oh, next man. year in 2020. Yeah. So I'm super, and it's you know Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. We're gonna get a real Mandarin. Yeah. So Juicy, you know, juicy stuff. It, it blows my mind because as a kid, I never thought it, it, any of this would have been possible. That. Yeah. Yeah. I thought maybe there might be an Avengers movie maybe. someday. Yeah. But now we're getting a Shang Chi. I know, movie? right? What street? I mean, something this is street level kind of, you know. But it's it's cool. Did you guys like Flynn Jones as? Yeah, and you know, I haven't seen. Nah, Iron Fist. not really. Okay, I I, I, he's kind of bland, but I want a little more. But I mean, I was like, okay, I can. And now that I've accepted it, I just hope I could accept this new person, whoever they cast. Sure. I can't think of anyone else sure. to be a martial. You know, I thought of the guy mm -hmm. from um, Transporter, that guy, the bald headed guy. Yes. What's his name? Jason oh. Somebody. Uh, Not Momoa. Sadakis? I don't know. Jason Statham. Statham. Thank you, Jason. Where did I come oh, yeah. up with that name from? I don't know. He, SNL? Who is that? Jason Sadakis? Okay, SNL? sure. Yeah, possibly. SNL. I guess. SNL. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Boy, he knows everything. <laughs> Get over here, Jason. All right, uh, Sawyer, you got any news this week? Well, I do. It's about the Joker. Okay. Joker Throw it at us. has officially become... The highest grossing comic book movie. No, it hasn't. The highest, most profitable comic book movie of all time. Not the highest grossing. And, and, and that's how I meant to say The, the highest uh, grossing rated R uh, comic book movie of all yes, time. Yes, yeah. yeah. Well, it's surpassed Jim Carrey's The Mask, which mm. oh, no. I don't know why that was the most profitable. Yeah, that's kind of... Well, because it's so good. I okay. <laughs> Just kidding. But it had I didn't know this, but it had a small budget in today's terms of sure. sixty two and a half million. Oh, oh my! <laughs> How did they ever? Yeah. Well. But they ended up making nine hundred and fifty seven million dollars from this movie. That's intense. That's intense. So they they if this movie goes any further, they could very well cross the billion mark. Oh yeah, yeah. I have no doubt. I mean, it's. I, I, I personally, and this is my personal, I think that that movie is a masterpiece yes, in every way. Yeah, yep. Did you? Did, did you? I'm, I, here's the thing, guys. I haven't had the time to go out and see it yet. I know, what? I know that sounds horrible. Are you si I know. And you guys Who know is I, this guy? You guys know how I feel about villains, right? I'm afraid right? of pirates. And I'm villains, going to see the Joker. I'm not villain -led vi uh, I'll see it. I'll see it. Before Redbox. If anything Before was Redbox. the villain, it Okay, well, yeah. He, well, if you consider him a You're even not. picking but a Joker what? comic. Yeah, we don't want to yeah. spoil that. What we said heck? no spoilers. We didn't want to spoil that. No. Let me tell you. I, I you promise it's you, it's, it's, it's really, it, it's a masterpiece. It's amazing. I, I'll watch it. I really, really I'll watch it. Okay. Uh, something else that I wanted to bring up in our news also is we're only days away from Disney+. Plus. Yes, we are. It's which crazy. is going to be bringing you... The Mandalorian, the Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. and many great marvels. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So many. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it's the fact that we're going to be having a Star Wars TV show, and we're going to be having Marvel TV shows coming. It, it, what is going on? This is like overload. I don't think my brain can handle it. It's, it's going to explode. There's so Explosion. many. Oh, we were talking earlier. Boom. There were so many streaming services with so many. Your your choices are yes. It's almost become There's like too many. Too many. Right. And it's you don't need many. to have. Local television, you can just have or cable I'm yeah. gonna, streaming services. With Disney Plus coming up, I'm gonna have to make a decision. Uh oh. On that, I have to choose not Netflix. Netflix is staying. Yeah. You, can, okay. you know you All can right. bundle. Right? What, what's the other one you gotta choose? DC Universe. Ooh. Ooh. I think they're gonna. Um, Ouch. You know, I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna. Something's gonna happen. I, just I think don't, they're gonna close it and open up like a Warner Brothers see, one and thing, have more to compete. But with the everything. thing is, though, 
I don't use DC Universe as much as I would like to. But who's to say you won't in the future? Because let me tell you, there's a lot of other stuff that's going to be coming just that I've been hearing. Like that Green Lanterns, Lanterns, HBO Max. Mm-hmm. Uh, there you go. Uh, yep. At the time right now, I think I would have to give up DC Universe. Well, no, no, I, no. We'll I, start a Patreon for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's totally fine right now because I... I I think that's a, Here's my a sacrifice name. you Password. can make because <laughs> Disney did Plus is going to be brand new, and who could pass that up like, because of all the new stuff that's coming? I at least want to try it. Yeah, for a month. Yeah, trial. I'm sure there's I a trial. Be, I want to see, like, I want to see if they're going to have all the MCU movies on mm-hmm. there. Some. Well, they see, will. Yeah, yeah, some. I want to see what's what shows are going to be on there at release. Yep. I, I, what about Lady and the Tramp? I love Pixar. That's another Good. thing. Live action another dogs. Another pearl from that oyster you call Thank a brain you. right there. Thank you. Just like that. Thank you. Who can spoil yeah, digital I mean, dogs boom. in one day? Bam. I mean, <laughs> talking about Marvel action, spaghetti. talking about DC action, and then all of a sudden, Lady in the what tramp. about Lady in the Tramp? <laughs> I'm sure that was I'm a kind of afraid of one pirate. Point. But <laughs> to, to be fair, I was going to mention Pixar. Not Lady in the Tramp specifically, yeah. because yeah. why that one... I don't, I don't know. know. There's there's better ones. It's good. There's a Marvel one oh, I really want to watch. Where there's it's a Marvel like people... lady in the trend. No, no, no. <laughs> it's like they take normal people who are trying to make a difference in the world, and it's like um, it's kind of like has cool um, comic font and everything like that. But it highlights those people, mm-hmm. and it's like a, a, a documentary series. And I thought that what's, was what's really it cool. It's like Marvel Your Universe or something like that. But it's going to be like spotlighting people, um, kids, adults who make the world better. Like yeah. there's somebody building appendages for people or something like that. I thought that was really yeah, cool. That is yeah, cool. I don't know. You know, and we don't want to forget about DC. Oh, and no. DC has got their mega huge event coming up around the corner as well. Yes, they do. Crisis on Infinite Earths. One of my Infinite. favorite storylines of all it's time. Good. I've read it, yeah. Marv Wolfman. Five parts. Five parts. Now, they're going to be doing it. Uh, they released this uh, a couple days ago. What each part's going to be like? Oh, cool. It's going to be each one of the shows. It's okay. Going to be okay. Part one will be on Supergirl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Part two will be on Batwoman. That's awesome. Part three, Arrow. Part four, what am I forgetting? I'm, I'm, I'm one of the shows. Flash or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Flash, and then five would be uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Gotcha. And I, 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 you know, I'm not a fan of those shows. I, I watched Arrow. I loved Arrow for a while, but it's Crisis on Infinite Earths. You would have a I, Crisis not while. I mean, like it's just I, I'm a super fan of those shows. Yes, and um, I can't wait. Like oh, I'm man. just like, and they announce, they keep announcing, they keep pulling people in from yes. other DC shows. Uh, Justin Hartley from uh, Smallville, Green Arrow. Yep. He's going to be on. You got Black Lightning. You've got you yep. know Tom Welling. You've got Brandon Ruth playing on Earth. I mean, uh, not an Earth, uh, else, not an Elseworld, Kingdom Come Superman. Yes. And it's just, there's so many. How are you going to squeeze all these? And hopefully, I think we, uh, we were talking, uh, Mike and Jason, we that this itself isn't a, a failure, a crisis. I hope not. Same. Because I've seen some of the, the, you know, I saw the anti-monitor oh, and the like monitor yeah. Yeah, yeah. costumes. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen the anti-monitor. I saw the monitor costume, and I saw Pariah. Mm. And they look... Amazing! That's awesome. I can't, I can't wait. I yeah. mean, I I don't know how they're going to be able to pull this off because it's such same, a mega same. huge event. I mean, to me, this is big. like DC's version of Avengers Endgame. Yeah, but but this TV, is going to be on TV. That's the thing. Yeah. You don't have to pay that. Well, if you have cable. Well, oh, oh you can boy. wait a day. They Come better on. not drop the ball on this one, like the Justice League movie. That's oh, all I got. No, to don't. Say. Please don't. Please don't. I still haven't seen that movie yet. Did you like the Justice League movie? It was all right. Could have been better. Of yeah. course, you know, the infamous, maybe non-existent Snyder Cut. Yes. Yeah, I've heard a lot about that. But I took it what it was. You know, I liked it. I liked uh, Flash's part, Ezra Miller in it, you know. Um, just, I don't wish they would do more with the Flash. You know, I wish he would do a solo movie and just expand more on that. I liked it for what it was. You know, like I said, and we were talking earlier, we never thought there would be movies. Right, yep. I know, you know, yeah. And now we got it. We just got to be fortunate with what we... I mean, it's awesome. I mean, I wish they would do more, but... I just wish with Justice League they would have had individual movies leading up to it. Yeah. Like they or had afterwards. a Batman vs. Superman movie and then they had... Well, they of course, you know, had Man of Steel like three years before anything yeah. else. And then they had Wonder Woman which was like one of the best movies I've ever... One of the best action movies I've ever watched. Yeah. 
She's and then amazing. you just threw Justice League in there, and then after that you had Aquaman. Yeah, yeah, they definitely didn't plan that out, right? But anyway, we got a lot more show yeah. to get to. Uh, that's our news for this week. We got more of the Mountaintop Comic Review coming up right after this. Hang on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Boy, did you see how I did that? I like that. I like that. Yep. Whoops-a-daisy. It's time for the Mountaintop Comic Review Roundtable Review. And this week, we're going to be focusing on number one of a series that I have been waiting for. Near and dear to your heart. I am so excited. I am so excited. Now, I don't know how it's going to end out, if it's going to be good, if it's going to be bad, but this... First issue is showing promise. I think so. It's like we're off to the races. This is a new platform, new field, new whatever. And it, it looks promising. It now, does. I, for me personally, I'm more excited for you guys because these characters have been near and dear to my high, height, near and dear to my heart for over 25 years, 30 years. Wow. Wow. I uh, started getting the Legion of Superheroes when I was five years old. I'm 45 now. So actually, 40 years. Wow. 40 years that the Legion of Superheroes has been a part of my life, and now they are back. And they're doing a complete reboot, a revamp, all the characters. They're not just focusing on a few, evidently. They're focusing on oh, everybody. Yeah, a ton with new... Yeah. Yeah. Looks like the new folks, too, in there, right, Charlie? Yep. Oh, yeah. I've noticed a few, and we'll get to that here in a little bit. But first, I want to find out what you guys think, because you're new yeah. to the Legion of Superheroes world. This is a new experience for you. So, Richard, what do you think of the Legion of Superheroes? Number one, Super by Super Bendis. By Bendis and Ryan Sook. Ryan Sook. Sook. Yep, Sook. yep, Sook. yep. Yes. Yep. Um, I liked it. Um, mm-hmm. From the... From the I first got a dose of the Legion uh, before New 52, before Rebirth, probably around uh, Final Crisis. Uh, Crisis of Three... Uh, Legions of Three Worlds, something like that. And wow. I got to see it I then. That. And um, it, it was different. Mm-hmm. It was ending. And then I tried the new 52 Legion. You know, they were time dis- or they were on Earth time displays. Yes. It just didn't feel. So every time I tried, it didn't feel like you know, like you're talking about. You mm-hmm. know, and reading this, it felt really cool. Like it mm-hmm. was. You're not getting. And I always think, oh, you're just getting a little bit. No, mm-hmm. you're getting all of them. Like you said, right. you start out with that space crash scene. There's a chase, and then all of a sudden, you know, we're not getting Superboy. Or not the original Superman. We're getting his son. Yes. You know, Jonathan Kent. Yep. Or John Kent, as he goes by. Yep. And what's, that's interesting. So mm-hmm. my question, did Superman in this new thing, did he not ever meet the Legion? Like, that was my biggest question. It kept going my, uh, my that's brain. That's a good question. You know, do they know? But I liked it. Mm-hmm. I liked the different... You know, sometimes I'm kind of like, well, in my mind, Lightning Lad looks like this. But they've changed a lot of nationalities and you kind of have to go with the flow. Yes. And I have, you know, I'm like, this is cool. It's all different, new costumes, new nationalities. I can go. I'm on board with it. I, you know, I think my thing was at the very end, though, I wanted more. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Like, I agree. and with yeah, I agree. my biggest, my biggest hook so far is, it looks like every character is going to get a chance to have their say in this book. Right. And you're not getting just one or two. Literally right. every page, you see all of them. And Damian Wayne in like three maybe you see his Batarang and I think he's gonna join the Legion yes. if if only for a few issues he is one of my favorite characters and I'm super excited yeah. but that's where I stand I was really excited the, the, the only well I'll, I'll, I'll finish it off yeah, so no, no. What, do you, what did you think this is a brand new experience for you you're introduced to the Legion what do you think of them so far yeah, like you said, I have literally never read a Legion of Superheroes book mm-hmm. in my life before I read this book. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was really good. Yep. I thought that he brought it back to Millennium, mm-hmm. the lead up, yep. just enough for it to just not have been a pointless series they made. Right. But he also didn't rely on it. Sure. And it was a great book by itself. You yeah. had the action aspect. They didn't... They didn't just close it off. Like, you didn't feel like there was room to grow. Right. And I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to get really good. And then, like, in this last page two spread here, you got a bunch of characters that look a little familiar, but yes. it's not the characters yeah. you know. And, it, well, it, it, to me it's going to be interesting because these are none of these characters, uh, at least to my knowledge, 
you're not familiar with any of these characters. I grew up with a cartoon show, Legion of yeah. that that yeah. one, that yeah. cartoon, and that's the, mm-hmm. the that's the big introduction of Lightning Lad, all those Lightning Lad, you know, yeah. cosmic. But and I had that one issue, Charlie, of Legion of Superheroes or Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes. But mm-hmm. that was it, and I reread that sucker back and forth. Yeah. But that was it. Yeah. So this is this is. If I hope I can get a dose of all the characters. Yes. And get to know them. You know, that's the thing. And now I just going over the the they have in uh, the first issue. They got a two panel mm-hmm. spread of all the Legion, and I can name. 75% of them, but there's 25% of these that I have no idea who yeah, they are. Yeah, we were, we were talking about this. Some of them are new, like uh, yeah. there's a Yellow Lantern dude there inside. Yeah, it, it looks like there's a their version of a Dr. Fate yeah. over in the corner. And Salak, it looks like Salak, you know, the multi-arm creature who runs the computer controls yes. from Green Lantern Corps. And I'm not sure who some of these characters are at this point, but let me tell you, just seeing some of my friendly, familiar faces, I am so excited so excited. Now, of the characters that you've seen, is there any Legion members that you're interested in at this point? I always like, um, and this is just, but I don't know if he's the same character, mm-hmm. Lightning Lad, because he was so impulsive with his back, and he just wants to, you know, do, you know, and I thought, I wonder if this is the same with this Lightning Lad. Yes, like I said, they change the nationalities. I think he's African American in this yes. one, and I'm on board with, if they change a character, I'm completely on board sure. with that, yeah. but I don't know that they change his personality, too. and if so, right. that's fine, you know, but I'm curious. Yes. I mean, Lightning Lad, for me, and I don't know, but... I'm part, and maybe Cosmic Boy. To, to my knowledge, it is the Lightning Lad that has always been. That it, the new Lightning Lad is Garth Rands. Okay, so it is. So it okay. would be. That, that's what I, I, at least to my knowledge, at this point. Yeah. So okay. you're you're interested in Lightning Lad? Yeah, here? for me, a Lightning Lad and Cosmic Boy. I want to see if they did Boy? anything different. Yeah. Yep. All right. What so, about you? So far, uh, I don't know a whole lot of names. Sure. So. First brand all, new. Yeah. First of all, I'm interested in the enemy they're facing. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. different. The I've horrors. never seen that guy. Yeah. I believe that's yeah. how you say it. Yep. But so far of the Legionnaires, I'm curious about this big rock dude. Block. Yeah. What? Block. <laughs> Block. Yes. Spell, yes. Is, it B- I, is it spelled uniquely or is it just B-L-O-K. Block. Block. Okay. Block. I, like, I like Block. He yep. seems like a cool guy. Yep. He didn't talk. He just... Does he talk? He was, he, yes, grunts. He was, he was a rock, but he, 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 he looks cool. He's in Block. In the uh, original run, it was very sad. Block was killed. Uh, mm. And it, uh, that was one oh, of the... No. There was... Uh, the, one of the things that drew you in to the Legion of Superheroes when I was a kid is that was the first comic that I remember at all where there were deaths. Oh, wow. wow. Uh, in the original run, Karate Kid died. I heard, yeah, I heard about that. Block yeah. died. Um, Lightning Lad actually died in the very beginning, and it, they found out that it was a clone. Okay. Uh, but there, there was that was the first comic that I remember where characters that you grew close to and that you really were a part of your life they asked. died. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I am super excited for this series. Uh, I, I can go ahead and tell you the characters that yeah, I... Who, who, I, I want to know. I want to know. Uh, wildfire right out of the gate. Okay. Uh, that's, that's the fire guy, right? Yeah, yes. The or a girl? Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm always like... I don't. So the story with him... It, it's a guy. Yeah, it, okay, it, it was, is a guy. I can't remember. If it's his his girl. name... Uh, it's leaving her. I think it's Drake. Okay. Wildfire. Okay. But he, he, he is... These down. He is... Energy. Energy trapped okay. in that... that, in that I was suit. thinking that's why it's like a containment so he's, suit. He's yes. kind... The, the way his fire looks, it kind of looks like it's drawn like Sunspot. Yeah. From New Mutants. Yes, yeah, yep. But he, the, his backstory, just from the original run, mm-hmm. it's so sad oh, no. because he, he wants to be a human. Well, he is a human, but there was an accident right. which caused him to turn into just energy. matter, or, yeah. or not matter, but uh, energy. cosmic energy. Cosmic Whatever. energy. Call it, yeah. And he has a relationship with one of the Legionnaires, but he can't have a relationship because he's not yeah. a human he's anymore. Not material. It, it's God, it's so great. Cool. But Wildfire and uh, Ultra Boy. Boy. Ultra Boy. Oh, I love Ultra, Bouncing, Bouncing Boy. Boy too, he has a sense of humor, but, but Ultra, Ultra Boy, Boy cool. it was another one that they, they. So I'm really excited about this series because 
one of the first two Legionnaires that they show was Wildfire and Ultra Boy. What's right Ultra Boy? Can I ask the power set? What's his power? Is he it just whatever he wants at one has, at a time, right? Yes. It's he like Superman. Use, he can use That's any awesome. uh, superpower, but he has to use them one at a time. Like gotcha. he can have super strength. He can fly. That's can, cool. I thought uh, there was one like heat that I vision, remember. but he can only use one at a time. It's Joe Na from Rimbor. Dang, Charlie. Yeah, let me tell you, I know my Legion. Love the Legion of Superheroes. Cool. So, I, 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 for this first issue, I, I liked it, mm -hmm, but, but it wasn't enough for me. Same. Yet. Same. Because I, I, you know, she was like double sized I, I, or something like we that. We didn't get to know anybody. Mm -hmm. We didn't really get. We know that the Earth as we know it is gone. Yeah, so that's it's been destroyed. So that is that the same, is that our Earth destroyed or yes. is that a new Earth they've kind of colonized? Well, they've they've created a new Earth from that's fragments right. of the old Earth. That's right, because a millennium it built up and the, the oceans are gone. So recycle out there, kids, because yeah. it's yeah. So, but I I was I'm intrigued. Uh, you know, there's people out there that say Bendis is fantastic. There are people mm -hmm. that say that Bendis is awful. Mm -hmm. I am, I'm just thrilled that the Legion is back. Yeah, that's all. That's I mean, all that's I care about. That. I like I'm that. I'm very excited. I like that, I'm even more excited that you and you get an opportunity to enjoy the Legion as much as I have through the years. I'm telling you. If it's anything like it's been in the past, you're in for an, an amazing ride. It's going to be awesome. Uh, Legion of Superheroes number one from Brian Michael Bendis. What do you think, Sawyer, gonna, in our grading scale? I'm going to have to give it a nine. Oh! What? Wow. What? That, he's on board. I did enjoy it. Good. I, like, I it. like that. I okay. like that. Richard. All right, I almost wanted more story. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not bad. It's not a 10 for me because I want more. I'm floating between 8 and 9, mm -hmm. okay? And I think I'll give it just where I'm at right now, 8. But with this free ring it came with, I'll bump it to a 9. Wow. Because it's a free ring. And the last we were talking about this, Charlie, you have another ring from, there's they've done yes. this before. Yep. I have a, a, I've got a Legion ring. ring that my wife has tried taking out of the vent of our car some 500 times, but it's wedged in between the nice. uh, AC vents in nice. my car. So cool. We can't Love fly, but it's a flight. It's a flight and communicator, right? Yeah, yes, so, it yeah, is. So, so nine? Nine. Nine. I'll do nine. I, uh, as a Legion connoisseur, mm -hmm. I... I Yours is gonna I'm going to give it an though. 8. Okay, see, that I'm was right there. That's the thing. I was 8, 9, eight, It's because you didn't get the ring. That's why. Well, that's probably it. Yeah, that's, it I, I think they're off to a good start, but I, I didn't get enough. That's like the you thing. Were saying. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. enough, but yeah. I think hopefully it'll pay off. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. Because you know? I look at this two-panel spread, and I see all these characters. Starboy, Matter Eater Lad... Can you believe that's actual character, no. Matter Why Eater? Why could his name be just Matter Eater? Why is Lad? I see, uh, uh. Monel. Monel, uh, uh, Star Boy, chameleon, Lightning chameleon, Lad. Uh, block. Chameleon Kid. Block, yes. Block. They're all there. Block. Dawn Star over in yes. the corner. It, this is going to be a fantastic ride. I'm excited. So, I, I'm going to give it an 8, but I'm sure it's sure. probably an boost up as we go. Oh, along. for sure. For sure. All right, so we're definitely giving it a thumbs up, so go out to your local comic store. If you're in the Cookville area, you can come right here to Mountaintop Comics and Collectibles and get number one of the Legion of Superheroes from Brian Michael Bendis. We've got more of the Mountaintop Comic Review coming up right after this. Hang on! It is time for our personal reviews. What did we pick this week? Hmm. Well, let me tell you, this one was actually really hard for me because there was a lot of really good stuff I that agree, came I out. Agree, yeah, yeah. And it's amazing. I, you know, people out there, uh, you hear mumbling and rumbling throughout, oh, the comic book industry is dying, da 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 da, da. I don't see it because let me tell you, there's some great stuff out there right yeah, now. And I'm... I agree. I'm imploring you, if 
you're interested in these characters that you see on the big screen or that you see on, on the little screen, there are stories galore waiting for you right now at your local comic book store. And if you're in the Cookville area, like I said, Mountaintop Comics and Collectibles here on Jefferson Avenue. I'm telling you, some great stuff has come out within this last couple of weeks that you need to check out. Now, who wants to go first today? So I feel like I've talked a lot, and Charlie, I don't know. It's up to you guys. I, I, I can like go I'll, first. Me, you. Yeah, I'll, I'll go first. Go. Awesome. All right. So my first pick is Amazing Spider-Man number 33, and my second Stop. pick is, I got it. I did it. <laughs> it's that cover, man. I'll help you tell us about that. And my that. second yeah. pick is Justice League number 35. It's a special kind of cover that I don't know how to pronounce. Acetate? Yeah, yeah. Acetate? Is acetate. that how you say it? I'm going to say it and make it a word. Okay. Jason, right. is it acetate? Uh, it's I definitely not acetone. Acetate. Look it's at some this. Sort of plastic I don't even know what that means, sort of but okay, sure. Go cool. ahead. Yeah, it's very, yeah. Anyway, Amazing Spider-Man number 33, the beginning of... I can't talk about it. 1099. I haven't read it yet. Voice. I haven't read it yet, so I can't, I can't be listening. Can you say it in your future voice? I'm not going to do that. 1099. <laughs> I have to say it's my the head beginning all time. of the 2099 storyline. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we're seeing Miguel. Yes. O'Hara. Yes, yeah, Miguel. O'Hara. Interesting. Yeah. Go ahead. You've got Spider Man his, with his newfound sister. No. Oh! What? No. Oh my god! Oh, I didn't read oh, it yet no. either. No, it didn't oh, happen no. in this issue. This has been like. Yeah, I know. I'm okay, 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 me too. Yeah, yeah, I'm more behind than I thought. <laughs> this was a I'm long time ago. One. Yeah. This was. You guys made me feel bad for a second. No, no, no. no. Absolutely then, not. Then I Sorry. Remember, no, that happened a long time ago. Yes, yeah, yeah, it did. He's yes, hanging out with I'm her, helping her out. You know, they've made a few discoveries. Characters are coming back. Mm-hmm. Not from the dead. They're just reappearing. Mm-hmm. And I'm excited to see where it goes. Yeah. Actually, to be perfectly honest, his sister came around in Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man. Yeah. That was done by Chip Zdarsky some time ago. So yeah, that I'm was... kidding, being stupid. That was a while ago, okay? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't spoil anything. Did. Right. He, he did. We were right. just... Yeah. Jeez. Go ahead. <laughs> that, that, and then Justice League number 35, Year of the Villain Continues. Mm-hmm. I am actually enjoying not all of Year of the Villain. I wish they wouldn't have done every single DC title yeah. as a part of it. Yeah. But Justice League Year of the Villain has been good. Yeah. I, I liked it. Like, I know Charlie a while back didn't like how focused the book was on cosmic things, but mm-hmm. I really think they've stepped it up because... Well, I, I it seemed like it, there for a while it was getting with the whole... What, what What's her name? Perpetua. 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 It really seemed... Uh, get like it was getting stale, but it's kind of building momentum for me too. I, I I've been enjoying it. It really has. You've got you've got the Justice League. You've got characters that maybe aren't there anymore, and you've got they're all fighting for the fate of everything. Really, mm-hmm. a big thing happened. Like it it was kind of glazed over, but to me it was a big thing, and I I want to see how they're gonna deal with that. Like. A whole... Mm, I'm not going to spoil it. Gotcha. But uh, it was big, and I, they're still fighting, and they're trying to gather together. You've got people from the past, people from the future. They've mm-hmm. all come together. It's Justice Society is still... Justice Society's still there. there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my. have got Justice League from the future that they yes. fight from Brainiac. Yeah. They're just trying on. to fight this Legion of Doom that is a whole lot more powerful than I ever thought it was going to mm-hmm. be. But a big, a big thing that I enjoy is Starro calling Batman dad. Yeah, yeah that yeah, whole yeah. play as raw as his like little dad, as a kid. But the DC, it was at one million, I think, the Justice League from one million. I remember reading those, and I was like, that's cool. They're putting that in there with the Justice Society. Yeah. So you get like three teams to go against the amped up Legion of Doom. I guess what I I'm really waiting for, and, and maybe you, are, are you getting Justice League yes, now? Okay. Yes. What I'm waiting for is I'm kind of wanting to see a change of the guard. Because right now we've got Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, uh, Flash, Your classic Martian Manhunter. Yeah. The one thing that I loved about Justice League in the past is you had a revolving door. door. Mm-hmm. Of, but there's also that. other characters that you didn't mention. There's Hawkgirl. Yeah, yes, but she's been in it from the beginning. But Starman... Well, 
Yeah. Um, now I do love his the, that they're bringing him he, into the that fold. Was, that Starman. was cool. He's he was really a big part of the last issue. Yeah. Um, you've got Starman, Mira. Yeah, she's, I forgot she's about taken Mira. in since yeah. Aquaman, but Aquaman's kind of back. Yeah. Aquaman is no longer dead. They found him in the past. Yep. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> you just got you have more characters that Charlie just didn't mention. Yeah, I guess I'm yeah. Yeah, but I know, I, what guess, you're, I know what you're saying. You know too. what I'm saying? I, I, I get yeah, it I too. This, but it's the this, core. It's been the core. But like yeah. for a couple this volumes, year of so. the villain lead up story has been going on for a long time. Yes, it has. And you can't just and well, they actually really have more recently. But it's hard to throw in characters yeah. just randomly in the middle of a big storyline. Like I just I, I like I would love to see uh, because you know I was reading some back issues of. The Justice League not long ago, and you know they had Green Arrow as a member, mm-hmm, yes. Firestorm as a member, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Elongated Man. Yeah, they switched it. I think yeah. after Year of the Villain, it'll definitely same. Be. I think like, they're gonna. The, I think people that are in this story now will go back to where they came from, but some will stay, yeah. and the team will mm-hmm. grow. Yes. Yeah. It's. I think it's definitely going to get better. I still. I, I really do love the inclusion of Starman though, because he was a character that they kind of built up in the late '80s, early '90s. He had his own title, but it just was one of those smaller titles that didn't pick up enough traction. That's sad. And he was a character that really didn't have much action. But seeing him in this main title, it man, I like it. And, I like it a lot. and they made a call. Remember, they made it to open up all members, all heroes. So I oh, think really? that call will open the door. Cool. You know? And there's also that animated movie with Starman. Yeah. And it's cool, you know, that they did for the kind of the kids, you know, yeah. on the DC streaming. But yeah, he's coming back. Starman's there. Okay. You know? Somebody else's turn. Okay. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Justice League. Sure. All right. Also, so, this is really cool. They did it for the back, too. Back yeah, back. they did. They actually did that uh, the cover for Deathstroke. Harley did Quinn. they do it for yes. all of all the DC titles? They're go- I I most some of maybe? them. Yeah. The Deathstroke maybe. one I saw out there. Yeah, okay. yeah. I saw the Harley Quinn one. Yeah, Harley Quinn. Quinn. I guess. Yep. All right, both of my titles this week. Uh, like I'm not usually that guy, but I'm gonna be that guy oh, this gosh. week. Both of mine come from the X Men universe, the Hickman X Men universe. I am gonna be picking. Uh, New Mutants, number one, and X-Force, number one. Now, I've got to be honest. Mm -hmm. When the whole uh, House of X, Powers of Ten, Powers of X, whatever you want to call it, when that was going on, I thought that the concept was interesting, but I wasn't sold on this new Hickman universe at the end of those uh, those runs. Crossover titles that kept crossing. But now that we are here, (laughs) And now that the story is laying out in front of us, I am so excited I can barely stand it. We'll start with the New Mutants. The New Mutants, like I said earlier, if you're a fan, uh, if you've been reading comics for a while and you got the New Mutants from the 80s, you're going to find all the characters from that uh, roster in this title, including Cypher, who got killed early on. He's back. It's great stuff. The only person they're missing is Warlock. And Cannonball. Oh, they're not in that? No, but they're going to see Cannonball in this okay, issue, so and I'm be. sure Warlock will show up at some point. Isn't Warlock time. a part of Cypher now? I think. Isn't I'm kind of uh, confused on that Isn't one. that like what happened in that New Mutants one-shot a while ago? Yes, Where yes. Like, but it they don't really focus on that in the, this, yeah, so like I'm not they, sure if he's actually... I, maybe it's just Warlock tech. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I like that. I yeah. like that. I like but that. I love, I love that character. I wish yes, they would just bring him back I love too. Uh, but New Mutants number one, you find the original team along with Mondo and uh, uh, what uh, Chamber? Chamber, yeah, that's the one. He, he, they're a part of the team now. They're going to find Cannonball in space. And she are airspace. Yes. And they uh, team up with the Star Jammers. The Pirates. The Pirates, which you, you're not a big fan of the Pirates. I mean, I say I'm not, but I'll read it. But you have I'm the Star excited. Jammers, of course. Uh, I can't remember. What's the... Scott Summers' dad, right? Scott Summers' dad. What's his name? I don't know why I just blanked I'm blanking out too, man. I, I see no his idea. face. But I anyway, see his costume. Yeah, just... They team up with the Star Jammers, head yeah, out into space to find Cannonball, 
fun. Yeah, it's so Sounds fun. Like a good adventure. It's really, really, really good. So check that out. My other is something that's going to shake the whole X community, X world up. X Force number one, something happens that's just absolutely devastating. Devastating. Mm -mm -mm. Could change everything as they know it. We're talking about a death, Charlie, or just. I, I'm not saying anything. Oh, my God. I'm not saying anything. But let me tell you if you're a fan of the X Men, X, all the X titles, oh, you need news. to pick up X Force number one because there's something that happens oh, in this that could change everything. All of it. Everything. It's wow. big. It, it is. is big. It's it is big. big. Now, we know... Well, I can't, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> we know. I'm telling you right now, if you're a fan of the X titles in any way, you have to go get X-Force number one. If you're in the Cookville area, head out to Mountaintop Comics and Collectibles. If you're out throughout the United St States... Find your local com well, if you're anywhere in the world. Yeah. Find your local comic store and pick up X Force number one. I'm telling you, both of these books. If I was giving them a rating, I'd both give them ten. Wow. Ten. Wow. Okay, because they're on my reading list. And you know, I haven't been, I haven't thrown out many tens. Yeah. Tens. Yeah. So when you say it. anything above six. Nope. Nope. I would give uh, the Zorro titles. Mm -hmm. From American Mythology Productions. By the way, well, I'll talk about that later. Uh, <laughs> yes, American Mythology there. Productions, Zorro titles. Get those, but also these two. So, my picks for this week New Mutants number one and uh, X Force number one. Go get them now, Richard. All right. Well, you know, you guys picked out a lot of books, and I was like, man. I just, those are the good ones. Or do you guys care to put that that big sure. prestige format? Um, but I decided to go back a couple weeks because there's so many books, yeah. too many books that we, you know, we weren't able to get to. So my two picks, um, I'll start with my first one is, um, Joker's Killing Smile mm -hmm. and it's a DC black label book. I mean, I think there's only like one cuss word to make it black label. I think, I mean, if, if you even consider I mean, that. Batman has some cuss curse words in it. So mm -hmm. yeah, so. it's not bad. I mean, but I mean, it's it's prestige I'm sure format. It'll, I'm I'm sure it'll get there. It's the Joker. So. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. what I liked about this book, I mean, it's definitely a little bigger format. Art, not a lot of writing in there, but really good writing. Jeff Lemire and mm -hmm. Andrea Sorrentino, mm -hmm. who does Gideon Falls, that same team has this book, and they take that dark kind of feel to the book and it's interesting because you have a, 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 a doctor a therapist you know he's trying to cure the joker to get inside his head and that you get to hear idea. yeah it is Horrible it is idea. it is a super villain bad idea because what happens is he starts you know that phrase that um i think my boss has told me this um the taboo of never take your work home with you guys oh yeah um well, he starts to. Oh, That's my. Not Maybe not, not consciously, not but good. subconsciously. Yeah. And bedtime stories start taking a turn for the worst. And I kid you not, and what's really cool is you get to see, like, the font change, the art change. Mm -hmm. And he goes, well, I don't remember. He has these, like, amnesiac moments. And I think, like, the Joker's slowly getting into his head. Oh, like, wow. these sessions mm. are opening doors in his mind. And I'm just curious to see where it goes. It's a mini. It's yep. one of three, mm -hmm. and man, is it? It's just, it's it's got that creepy, dark feeling. The, the art just, just he, the Joker's just always been something else. He's never been given a true origin story. No, and he talks about it in one, but it's still he just kind of jokes about it, you know. And yeah. it's just bleh. we we just know of many different possibilities which could be like the what Joker happened in origin. The killing joke. There's yeah. other things that I can't think of right now. The the crimson helmet. The, yeah, the, uh, the or the, the red, red hood. The red, the red hood. Yeah, the crimson helmet. The crimson helmet. That's what they actually huh. in, in one of the early. Uh, I can't remember if it was the detective or uh, they call they call it the crimson helmet, but the red hood. Same, same, the red same, hood. same, yeah, same, same. No, that's that's. I like that. Go no, ahead. That, yeah, that's. But yeah, this book, the team. Great team. I know they did uh, Civil War too, mm -hmm. um, Andrea Sorrentino, but Gideon Falls, if you like that feel, this has that same feel, but with a DC ground. What do you feel? How do you feel about the whole DC 
black label line. I was not on board. I was like, they don't need to push it anymore. Just keep it what it is, you know? Yeah. And I read uh, Superman Year One, you know. I'll... I don't know how I feel still, Charlie. Sawyer. Superman, I like Superman Year One. I haven't read the third one yet. I haven't mm-hmm. read the last one. I but finished, so far, yeah. I thought it was pretty good. Okay. Well, my, I'm, I'm fine with the titles, but what do you think about these oversized... I'm not overly happy about that side. They call it prestige format. I'm trying my hardest, guys. And we were talking, we were, you know, Micah, the owner of Mountaintop, he was saying, you know, it'd be cool, or what they're probably going to do is come up with their own bags and boards just for this, you know. They're going to have to. It's it, what kills me, and this the team, uh, this this writer and artist. For me, it's the team. I mean, we had Frank Miller and John Romita Jr. on the other book, mm-hmm. you know. But it's the it's the story, it's the writing. But the format, I don't think they need to stretch it that big, no. you know. But I think they get more story they because more pages. It just big enough to where it doesn't fit in a magazine bag. It does nope. not. Heads up on that. I've researched to try to find a bag yeah. and board to fit it. But, I mean, I'll do it for the story. Yep. And I've almost been tempted not to get them just to get the collected editions because yeah. it's it's a mini, yep. you know? But um, I think you guys should check it out. The team-up's really good. Um, Joker Killing Joke is, or Killing Smile, not saying it wrong, is out there. My other one is, it's not a prestige format, but it's it's thicker. Yeah, and I'm paying a little more money yeah. for this one, too. Yeah. And I win. It's Tales from the Dark Multiverse. And this one's Batman Nightfall. Mm-hmm. It's the first, uh, it's a one-shot. So you get the story, you boom. Um, you're done. Boom. You're boom, you're done. I don't know where I was going there. But um, basically, it. it's different. Yeah, there's this, um, it's like we were talking about the crisis. There's this giant being, and his name is Tempest something, for a genot, something like that. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like the Marvel what ifs. You yes. get this tale, and it's from the dark universe, Marvel multiverse, where, you know, the uh, Joker, who, or Batman who laughs is from. Yes. And he's looking for heroes out there. And instead of getting heroes, we're finding tragically bad heroes. Right. And in this one, it kind of plays with the storyline, and I didn't read it, but I want to, Batman Nightfall. Oh, yeah. You and I wrote it down because I have a horrible time with pronouncing pronouncing words, so it's Azrael. Am I saying that right, guys? Azrael. Yes. Azrael. Uh, with Azrael. With Jean-Paul, or Jean, Jean, Jean-Paul Valley, Jean-Paul. JV, uh, JPV. Yep. Uh, uh, for millennials, I just yeah, but it's good because instead of Batman taking the mantle over after his bat got gets broken by Bane, mm-hmm. um, Azrael kills Batman. Yes, or what you think he does. Right, and but he doesn't really kill him, and that's the really cool part. You get to see Bane's son um, in this, who can naturally buff out with the Bane venom. The, the... Doesn't it's in wow. his system. Okay, and um, I mean it's a thirty year jump, and. Batman just undergoes so much torture every year by um, Azrael, who's going by uh, Saint Batman. He's basically taking over yeah. Gotham and making it his own. And you just have to find out what happens to Bruce because he becomes Batman again, but he just just gets so twisted. Mm-hmm. And it's a new Batman at the very end. And and the big character, the omnipotent being named Tempest, says Om- omnipotent. Uh-uh. I'm gonna. Uh, okay, we're gonna leave that up to the audience. Say omnipotent or omnipotent, which um, omnipotent. Okay, so anyways, continue. Continue, I'm gonna I'm gonna allow it. I'm just kidding. No, omnipotent. Uh, you're right. I'm, I'm so horribly wrong. Uh, omnipotent character says, I don't know if this is a hero worth bringing into my cause for. Get ready, a crisis. Mm. So I don't know what we're building to, guys. And if you like, I, I did not know what to think of this story. Mm-hmm. But once I got into this story, I was like, this is good. Oh, yeah. And it's self-contained. So check out Tales from the Dark Multiverse. And it's by Scott Snyder, guys. Oh, yeah. May- oh, and and Kyle Higgins, who does Power Rangers. So I was like, whoa, whoa. Wow. And art by Javier Fernandez. So it's good. And they're doing Supergirl right now. Uh, Dark Multiverse Supergirl. So. Well, I'm always a fan uh, of the... Storylines of the past. If you haven't read Nightfall, please. Do. I think I'm going to now. It's yeah. really good. And as far as far as Jean Paul is concerned, he is actually in the DC universe right now Odyssey. as a member of Justice League Odyssey. There you go. And he's also, which is not technically in the DC universe, it's another black label book, but it's not in prestige format. Curse of the White Knight. <laughs> yes. Yep. I love the layers yep. we have to go through just to get to a, a, a format of a book. Yes. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is our picks this week. We got more of the Mountaintop Comic Review coming up right after this. Hang on!
All right, it is time for our email question of the day. Yeah. We got a, a email question from Keith mm -hmm. of Cookville. Keith wanted to know, Richard, go ahead and throw it at us. He wanted to know, you know, what um, when you were out one week, our, our golden, our, or our three favorite artists. Sorry, I was thinking of uh, previous questions. Uh, yeah, he wanted to know our three favorite artists. Or, um, what, what, we, how much well, we'll time, do, time, time constraints, one. we'll just go with our... Two, 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 two favorite two. artists oh, yeah. of all time. Okay. Two favorite yeah. artists of all time. For me, that is easy peasy. You got me, squeezy. You got, got my got two it. favorite artists are Gene Colan, or okay. Colan, however you pronounce it. He did uh, Batman in the seventies. He did uh, Tomb of Dracula. Mm -hmm. He did uh, just a bunch of stuff. His work is just amazing. And my other favorite artist is a gentleman by the name of Mike Plug. Now, Mike Plug did Werewolf by Night, uh, several issues of that. He did the Monster Frankenstein from Marvel during the 1970s. And it, you, you see a lot of his influences probably from Will Eisner, uh, who did The Spirit in the 1940s. Yeah. His artwork is just amazing. But those... Easily my two favorite artists of all time, Gene Colan and nice. Mike Plug. Sawyer, who are your two favorite artists? This, it's a little harder for me, but I have a decent idea. My number one's got to be Greg Capullo. Mm -hmm. oh, I've cool. met the guy. Oh, really? He's he's super nice. Really? He's, he's, yeah, just really nice guy. And I love his art. He's worked on Batman, X-Force, Quasar... And he's also worked on a DC Black Label book. I don't know if you remember it. I completely forgot about it. Last Night on Earth. Oh, wow. We still got another issue of that one. We do. Yeah. We do. Yes, we do. I just huh. totally forgot about that book yeah. until like five minutes ago. I still ago. haven't read the second issue of that. Yeah. It's good. It's, hmm. yeah, it was good, if I remember correctly. I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> but I like him. And my second will have to be Alex Ross. Oh, oh, how, how could I forget I like that? Alex Ross. Dang, that what? man is a miracle. He's, yeah. he's amazing. He's he's one of the artists that still does. He still draws his stuff mm -hmm. with his hands. Yeah. Instead of making it, I yeah. I know this is probably an unpopular opinion, but digital art to me isn't really art. It's something you made. Yeah. It's it's yeah. like the. It's like the equivalent of a sculpture more than it is of a painting. Sure. But anyways, that's why I love him so much. He does great watercolor stuff. Yeah. Like the work he did on, uh, what was it? Marvels. The re mm -hmm. Marvels an Annotated. Yeah. That was great. It was so good. I, I don't know. Oh, that's... That, I forgot about Me Alex too. Ross. I should have... I, like, I totally like, well... I can't... Put him in the place of Mike Plug or Gene Colan because those those two have been such a huge part of my life. But I can honestly say Alex Ross. There was a period in my life where I took a break from comics. comics. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a small break, but there was a break. Alex Ross is who brought me right back, and that was with um, uh, his artwork on Masks. Mm -hmm. Uh, which was a limited series from Dynamite Comics. I remember that. And let I've me never tell read you, it, but I've, I've seen oh, it. Oh, I beg you. Wow. Plead with you to both find Masks and Masks Part 2 yeah. because the artwork is absolutely amazing. It, it's what lured me back in, and I've been so thankful ever since. So, nice. All right, who are your two favorite? Um, my two favorite. It's tough. I literally have Pinterest boards on every favorite comic book artist, mm -hmm. that I, and it's it's super tough for me. I mean, this is this is tough. But if I had to choose, my first one would be Little Francis Yu. He did uh, New Avengers um, when okay. they, the, you know, when the government took uh, yep. heroes yep. made him register, yep. and that was really cool. Um, he's done. He's doing the front cover of the X Men. Uncanny X, like that new X Men title. He's doing the. I think he, yeah, he's doing the internal art as well. I believe. Oh, wow. And he's just done so many things. And again, I hate to say it, but because he is Filipino and I'm half, I just feel like, whoa, I could be successful. <laughs> he's, you know, he's just, I don't know. But I've always wanted to draw for comic. You know, I've did always, he and do, he's, did he do the Secret Avengers? Um, I don't think so. I okay. know he did I new. Just, I, I was thinking maybe. I know he did new. Speaking okay. of the art on these new mutant books, that's another thing that's just been, okay. 
phenomenal. Hey. Not, not omnipotent or oh. omnipotent. We're just throwing it's all been the phenom- words out phenomenal. today. <laughs> so do you know any other uh, titles besides New Avengers that he's done? He did a, a limited series, like a mini. Um, Miller World had their own little books for a mm-hmm. while, and he did Superior. Uh, oh, okay, okay. With yeah. a little monkey wishing person who yeah. gives a person, I, Miller. I think, yeah. in a wheelchair, the ability to become a superhero, yeah. but with horrible I, I, consequences. I, oh. Um, yeah, so that was really cool. Um, he's done just a little bit of everything, mm-hmm. but his major run was that New Avengers run. Yes. And everything he does, I'm just, I'm like, in front covers he's done too, I'm just like, wow. This is great. This mm-hmm. stuff's really, really good. When um, Craven's Last Hunt happened, he did a connecting cover that was really cool too. Um, just was it Craven the Last Hunt or shoot, Hunted? Here we go, Hunted. Right, he's I, Craven those, and his, they're different. his. Oh my gosh, his hunts. He's been on. A lot. Yeah, he he's has been on. been on quite a few. Okay, last yes, the last one, Hunted. Okay, okay. 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 But my other, my other artist um, that I have to choose, it's probably, probably like a duo. I couldn't separate them. Similar but different in their own ways. Um, Marcos Martin and Paulo Rivera, both uh, like we were talking like they're an old style mm-hmm. um, kind of format, and they did a lot of amazing Spider-Man. Um, right around when they did the Brand New Day and they relaunched Spider-Man, mm-hmm. there are and they were on Daredevil too. It's just it takes you back to the simple, clean, almost like a '50s '60s simplest, style, like a minimalist style art, and it is it is. Awesome. That's it something is. that I've noticed. Uh, I like the, that. The, the art style has changed so much from like yeah. the 50s and 60s to now. And if you can get that old time, you know, it's just, it's nice to see it done and mm-hmm. done right, you know? But there's there's so many out there, artists to choose from. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We could keep going, I think. But Keith, we just want to say thank you for that uh, uh, email question. Yeah, yeah. And we want to remind everyone to continue to send us your email questions, comments, concerns, or insults to me at mountaintopcomicreview at gmail.com. Now, also, speaking of that, I wanted to give a shout-out to, per chance, I don't know how this happened. Yeah, you got, you got a, a, a... But a, I had a small something. conversation yeah. with David Avalon. I, I, I guess, I don't know if it's pronounced Avalon or Avalon, uh, but he was the writer... For Zorro, Swords of Hell, and that's really my cool. favorite comic of the last two years. I talked to the guy on Facebook. How cool is that? That's, I, there's nothing like getting to talk to your, you know. To I your gotta say, hero or whatever, you know, whatever you consider him. I that's tried really not cool. to sound like a total dope. It's but hard. It's hard I, when you. Find I was starstruck. I was just like, hero. hey, I really liked it a yeah, lot. Yeah, I'm with you, Charlie. When but, you idolize somebody as your comic hero, you know yeah. what I mean? It's tough. Uh, so uh, hopefully, if things work out, we're going to have him on the show. That's awesome. And we're going to be talking to him about that masterpiece that is Zorro Swordfell. That's awesome. Just say it. That's super just cool. Uh, also, we want to remind you, we've got a contest that's going on right now. And it's your opportunity to win Witches from Scott Snyder, uh, Image Comics, yes. one through six. We will be giving those away here on the big show. And what we're going to do is we're going to be posting it on Facebook, and all you have to do is like it. That's, That's it. all you got to do. We're going to randomly pick one of those likes, one. and you... you yes, you. That one right there. Guy that's washing the dishes while he's watching the podcast. Yeah, you. Yeah. Don't drop your phone in the sink. Don't, yeah, don't do that. You could be our next winner, so make sure that you like the picture once we get it put up on Facebook, which is one through six. You could be a winner. Now, uh, you had, you guys both had a couple shout-outs, right? We do, From, yeah. We yeah. comic yeah. Now, normally yeah. I'm the one that's traveling around know, right? visiting the, the uh, comic book stores throughout the United States, yes. but you guys have uh-huh. got a couple that you visited recently and you want to give a shout-out to. Sawyer, where yeah, was you yours go, at? Man. Well, uh, I went down to Alabama a few weeks ago for vacation, mm-hmm. and I was in uh, the Foley, Alabama area, and yep. I went to a store by the name of Covert Comics and Collectibles. Covert? Covert. Like Covert. a secret mission covert? Cool. Yes. Okay. It, it's a great place. It's got it's got hanging books that are hanging from the... <laughs> hanging <family>. books. <laughs> I like that. It's, okay. It's got quite a few keys. I think he's got a few uh, copies of the first appearance of Apocalypse. Wow. Um, he's got some old... Uh, this is for me, of course. Some old Batman stuff. Yeah. Like uh, that little Joker series from... I don't know when it was. He's got 
I like the original one. Maybe. Uh, probably 1975, 76, somewhere. Probably in that yeah. era. It's It's got a lot of cool stuff, and of course it's got new comics. So if you're in that area, go to Covert Comics and Collectibles. In Alabama. I like it. Alabama. 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 Okay, and yours? You have one as well? Uh, yeah, I was, uh, you know, I went around and I tried to hit all the comic book stores, go like on a road trip, and one we kind of didn't go out to because it's like 15 minutes outside of Knoxville. Mm-hmm. It's not bad of a drive, but they've got a nice, nice mural like all the way around the store. Like it's just like there's like this kind of like a not a, not a fence, but like a cement concrete. Um, like wall mm-hmm. and um, it's really amazing but it's called Golden Age Comics 1942 mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it's like a you know husband wife team and there's like five six rooms of goodness of comics goodness. Um, game rooms um, back issues galore um, it, it um, figures so cool and b- besides that Nirvana Comics is doing a really cool cause for Care 65 for every graphic novel you guys or anybody out there and girls buy they'll donate for, to Care 365 so it's going for kids who I guess families who are in need of money you know just p- help people out and I yeah. thought that's a really good cause and a great place to spend some uh, Christmas money you know if you want to get something for someone who likes comics any listeners out there you could buy something and, and so much of that proceeds this is in Knoxville. Okay. So, uh, Maryville's Golden Age Comics, 15 minutes outside of Knoxville. And then Nirvana Comics is in uh, Knoxville itself. Mm-hmm. So, anywhere between October 26th and November 30th, for every graphic novel you buy, proceeds go to Care 365. So, that's, Very cool. that's my shout out. And um, I do have a present whenever. Uh, for you guys when okay. we're done here that I'll reveal. Well, once again, we want to remind everyone if you're in the Cookville area or if you're in Nashville, Knoxville, anywhere, Chattanooga, in the Tennessee area, we want you to stop by and see us right here <coughs> at Mountaintop Comics and Collectibles on Jefferson Avenue in Cookville, Tennessee. All right, that just about does it. You've got a little surprise for us, I see. Yes, I do. I talked about our branding, you know, thing, <coughs> and I think uh, thanks to Jason at Bumbleo Media, I mean, this is something cool. We finally got Whoa, some. Charlie, want to hold it up, man? Check that out. They are oh, water resistant. Swag, sun ladies resistant and gentlemen. Wow. Car decals. Mm-hmm. That's right. Water Very resistant, cool. sun resistant. You car can decals. have. Well, wow. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, when are these going to become available? I don't know. We're, we'll talk. I thought we would talk about wh- yeah. how we're going to give these out. But yeah. I thought we could start branding. So if you see us around town, give us a honk. Pull us a truck honker. Uh-uh. And just a boat honk. Do boats honk? I'm sure they do these days. Sure. Boats yeah. Honk. Yeah. So that, cool. that is awesome. All right. So be looking Very for cool. Mountaintop Comic Review swag in the near future. Well, that wraps up another issue of the Mountaintop Comic Review. Richard, anything to add? That's it. Drink bros coffee here in Crossville, Cookville, Tennessee. Bros. <laughs> All right. Nothing for me except for my wife and children. Daddy will be home soon. Oh. And Sawyer, what's your final saying? Whatever. Keep reading. There it is. There it is. Till next week. So long, everybody. See you guys. Mm-hmm.